Thank you guys for joining us. My name is Rick Coster. This is Live Lunch Break. We're streaming from the Telegraph in downtown New London, as always, at theday.com. Yeah, we're a little tardy today. It's not my fault. Blame the Fraser Band. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. These guys have already had one gig today in another state, and they're going to go to New York after this, So, and it's raining out. And that reminds me, what a long, a fine run we had in the Hygienic Art Park all spring and summer. And finally, Fortuna has frowned on us, and it is raining today. So here we are. We're glad to be here. From East Nashville, we have an incredible new grass band called Fraser Band. This is John here, Jeff back there on the bass. That's James, John, Jeff, James. And we'll break it up with Matthew, and that does not start with a J. So that's okay, though. We're glad to have you guys. Thanks for stopping. I know you're busy. You're on the road. So, please welcome Fraser Ben. Take a long way home I drive a winding road It takes a little extra time But it lightens my load I drive past the highway yeah. I cross over the train I take a long way home To run around again Take a long way home I got a nice little car Sometimes I gotta go close Whoa, sometimes I gotta go
take a long way home I never do it the same And if I don't like the way I'm going No, 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 no I got no one to blame I can find a new direction I'll make it up as I go I take a long way home I always get there, you know well, you can take a fast lane Driving on the weekday Chasing on a dream in the window I'll just take a stack And show you my home go I'll take you home again and again I'll take a long
Thank you all so much for being here. This is wonderful. It's nice to be in New London.
often in this humdrum world do you get to hear something astonishing? Praise your band. Yeah, you guys are tremendous. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, I want to start by asking for people that are unfamiliar. You, you call yourselves new grass, which is obviously a pun on bluegrass, and there's as much uh, Bela Fleck as there is Earl Scruggs in here. Is that fair to say? Um, yeah, wow, well, that's high praise. Thanks for noticing. So. Yeah, I noticed things like that. Yeah. So it's not just traditional bluegrass. You guys infuse a lot of stuff here. Yeah, yeah. Um, the, the project started around uh, some original songs that I had and wanting to get them in a format and... Um, at the time, it was really important to me to create a band concept sound around it. Um, even though we would have maybe different influences, bases for each of the compositions, you know, just being this fascinating modern world of many influences that we live in, um, yeah, it kind of came together that way. And so I hadn't originally described it as new grass, although sort of that's, I was working with uh, John Cowan at the time. And then um, some other people started talking about it that way, and so I, I let it happen naturally. Well, you said uh, it's an interesting thing about this world of many influences, because the second tune y'all did, that could have been Yes, if they were playing banjo. And then when you did uh, Frankie and Johnny, it was like Dr. John arranged it. It had some second line beat almost to it. So is it fun to incorporate all that? Is that just natural? Do you have to think about this? or? Um, yeah, for, uh, for for me, it's really fun, and um, for the guys, they, they seem to be having fun. I mean, they, they're still willing to work with me, so. <laughs> I mean, it's sort of a stupid question, because it's obviously enjoyable, but it, no, it's no, also no, something you've got to think up. about, though. Yeah. Well, what you, what you were saying is, that d does it happen naturally? And, and yeah, kind of, uh, if you let it, it does, and we just sort of will take pieces of different stuff, especially for tunes with, like, we're arranging covers or public domain tunes like that. You can just take pieces off of um, some of maybe your different heroes versions and then put them together and, and have your own and still, I mean, I feel like uh, be able to pay tribute to people who's, I mean, I love music and, you know, think about all the people that came before and, and it's great to, that you would hear something like, it's actually Clarence Gatemouth Brown sure. was the influence, but I mean, Dr. John stalled me more right. and stuff, you know, but then we would want to sing it too because I like Jimmy Rogers' version of that song as well. It's all fun. And actually, uh, Sam Cooke has a cool version out, too. I have not heard Sam Yeah, but. Yeah, I hadn't either. Do you know that Gatemouth Brown had his own booth at the New Orleans House of Blues until he died? Like, if he came in you had, and you were sitting there, you got to get out because Gates yeah, can sit here. Yeah. And the only reason I say that is because he's like a catfish plate there. And that's a segue to the fact that you all are from Nashville, and you have access to hot chicken anytime you want it. <laughs> so you want to tell these folks what hot chicken is? Sure, hot chicken is uh, Nashville style fried chicken, but um, you can get it at different levels of heat. And, and of course, the hot one is really, really hot, so you get a good sweat going. And uh, it's fried chicken with a lot, a lot of heat. Um, did, you, did you bring any up here? We didn't bring any on this. This, trip. Is, this is lunch break, John. We oh. briefly discussed getting some at rehearsal <laughs> the night before we left, and then decided against it based on how many hours we had to travel in the van the next day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could create a miasma, I suppose. But. Um, now, you do have an album out. Tell people where they do you have it here? There's, uh, there's, we have two albums out. Yeah, we have both of them here. The original one is the debut, and then the second one is a live album. And that's on the live album. It's really cool. And then we've been working also all year on a new studio album, so that'll be out here directly um, as soon as we finish. And um, But yeah, so, so we have a live album with some covers and a new one new original on it, um, and then sort of like a reworking of some of the original tunes around... Um, electric banjo and stuff like that so but it's I, I gotta say we love to play acoustic and it's great to be in here today it's super fun to do the acoustic sets too so. well absolutely and you know what's a there's so many uh the roots movement if you want to call it that mm -hmm. has opened a lot of doors for acts like yours you, you don't just sit and play bluegrass or, or country and western clubs in nashville you're doing nice tours like you get out there and play with a lot of different kinds of, of and the crossover must be tremendous. You meet a lot of people you probably wouldn't meet otherwise. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's one of my favorite things. Um, even though I, I love bluegrass and have played a lot in some really straight um, bluegrass bands, and I, I st still look forward to doing more bluegrass in my future, um, one of the coolest things is being influenced by people who you wouldn't have thought to take musical influence from just based on 
your sort of natural route. And uh, I got a lot of friends like that too, a lot of really talented musicians I know talk about stuff like that. And uh, like I was saying earlier, we live in a wonderful time for, for music with you know so many influences. What is whatever the makes website? You, whatever makes you feel. You know? Yeah, absolutely. What's the website? Uh, FraserBandMusic.com. So make sure you add the music onto Fraser Band. And uh, would you go? So you're going to New York tonight, right? We are. Yeah. Yeah. So New York tonight. Can we just sort of form a caravan and I'll follow you down there? Yeah. Come on. I'll, I'll put you on the list. You'd be surprised. There probably are a lot of people in this. This is a good music town. So. All right. So would you uh, bless us with a few? More tunes? Yeah, absolutely. Thank awesome. you guys for coming out on a rainy day to live lunch break. This is Fraser Van.
marching down to the gallows, but that'll be the end of me. I've been all around this world. I used to have a big horse.
Well, who needs hot chicken? That was incendiary. This is a Fraser band from Nashville. Thank you guys so much for being here. This is John, Jeff, James of the Master Cylinder back there, and of course we have Matthew on the banjo. Not to forget Dan for getting it right in the house. They're on their way to New York. You can talk to them, get some CDs, whatever. Thank you for being in the Telegraph. I'm Rick Coster from theday.com. Next week we got Noah Feldman and uh, this will be archived this afternoon, just like all of our acts are. Y'all be safe out in the rain, and thanks again for coming. You're welcome. Thanks, that was awesome.